A man whose daughter was brutally murdered in Knoxville more than a decade ago is partnering with the self-defense school to help others survive attacks. Shannon Christian and her boyfriend Christopher Newsom were carjacked and killed back in 2007. And as WBIR 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes tells us, Shannon's father, Gary Christian, has had self-defense in mind for a while now. Stephanie. Robin, Gary Christian said about seven years ago he thought of working with someone to provide self-defense classes. He met Roy Shields of Smoky Mountain Self-Defense, and now the goal is to help women and kids get the skills they need to survive. In the corner of Smoky Mountain Defense School is a memorial for Shannon Christian and Christopher Newsom. I would trade all those pictures to have her back, but that's not going to happen. The young couple was carjacked and brutally murdered in North Knoxville in 2007. Since then, Shannon's father, Gary Christian, has endured trials. He's returned to faith, and now he's focusing on a new goal. If you don't take some measures to protect your children or give them a chance to protect themselves, it's on you. He says Shannon didn't know self-defense. I wished I could go back. I wished I could have... <clears throat> Had a Smoky Mountain self-defense to put her in classes, uh, it, it would have given her a chance to go home. Christian and Roy Shields, the school's owner, met and realized they have the same goal. I never wanted to feel what he's feeling. And I thought to myself, you know, I've got a lot of stuff that I've accumulated over the years that I could offer my daughter and, 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 and other kids. Christian and Shields co-founded the No More Victims Fund which will help give self-defense scholarships to kids, hoping that they can survive and prevent another tragedy like Shannon and Chris. Every time that we make a difference in this community, she's part of it. Shield says more than 580 women have completed his one day workshop over the years and 38 kids have gotten scholarship to take classes there. Robin and John.